The stage that carries gametes. We got that. And what are gametes? The male or female gametes. So as I said to the other side, I said stick it in my mind, I said something like that. That is the sexual monster. That way. He is carrying the male and the female. Get that? That's the sexy one that one there. Huh? But if I held up a fern to you, you know what a fern is like? I just have that one at the moment. Tomorrow, I'm going to get a few. Right, hold up a fern, the green fern. It's the thing after. That is not the sexy one. That is not carrying the gametes. That is the sporophyte stage. Underneath the leaves, when we get the fern and we turn over the leaves, you see a whole lot of dots underneath the leaves. Those dots there, which are called sori, or soruses. S O R I. Yeah, those ones there, the sori. And they contain. They are spores. They are carrying spores. Spore of fight stage. See, spore of fight stage. They're going to be carrying spores. Here's the Archegonia are the female Lugias, are these. Yeah. We've got as far as the Archeridium and Archegonia. Now let's try and have a look at the Archegonia. You'll find that on page 86. And you see the Archegonia in there, of that fellow you have him there on page 241. Um, he's, a, he's a different Archegonium. Remember the Archeridium first. Come back to the Archeridium. You remember him of the of the moss. He was a club shaped mm. lad, a long club shaped fella. Yeah. Now if you look at him, you have to look back there to page eighty five, sorry about that, but you have it there. Um, he's a short round fella in the fern, a short round lad. So there's a difference. So you're going to be able to contrast one with the other. Got that? Now let's look at the Archegonia. The Archegonia of the moss was a long fella with a long, long neck. Now look at this lad. He's sunken into the he's sunken into the protalis and he's got a rather short neck. And he's not as long and as fat anyway. He's a smaller thing. Close at the top of the neck. Uh, it's always closed, and that'll open up. There he's opening up now. No, there he's opening up there. Um, now, what happens? When, when the antheridium is ripe, and that's on figure, all on page 86, figure 339, 33, the sperms come out. There's the sperms coming out. The mass of sperm mother cells. They come out, and then the sperm matterzoids develop, and you see what they are? Coy little fellas with a whole lot of tails. You remember what the moss fella looked like? Yeah. Just a twisty fella with two tails. This is a coy fella chimney. with a pile of tails. There's a difference now between the sperms. And that sperm would swim through the mouth of the opening of the antagonium and up and fertilize the egg. See that? When the egg is fertilized, a moss, not a moss, sorry, a fern plant begins to grow on the propellers. Everything not really fertilized. The uh, fern plant growing, new fern plant growing with a little root, root growing in, and the same growing up. And that is the new fern that's completed the cycle. And the fern we study is the fern of Dryopteris, D R Y O P T E R. It's the Dryopteris of US, Dryopter, Dryopteris, and the other name there is, uh, I'll continue on like the way I have. Dioptrus phalanx mass. F-E-L-I-X-M-A-S. Dioptrus phalanx mass. Sometimes referred to, and very wrongly, as I think, as the male fern. M-A-L-E. That gives you the impression that there is a female fern. But the fern itself, 
A fair new see, what did I tell you about it? He was not a bit sexually inclined at all. He is not male, not female. Got that? So calling a thing the male there. Seems to imply a female there. But male there is a capital letter, it means that's a second male term. There's no female. But I wouldn't use that name at all. I wouldn't use it there. I wouldn't use it at all. The fern or Dioptrus. Now, what is it? It is a green vascular or photosynthetic vascular plant. Yeah, oh, sorry, morphology.